What's up kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. I am the Eva Monroe. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. So today we're going to talk about fragrances. We're going to talk about feminine floral fragrances, feminine white florals that work perfect for this time of year. So I made a recent discovery about myself. I'm going to try not to shake the table here. Um, I am obsessed with white florals. And I realized this not only with fragrances, but even in my garden, I realized that all of the flowers in my garden that I absolutely love to bury my face in and just take in all of their aroma, they're all white florals. So I want to share some of my favorite fragrances and some of them are not necessarily my favorites, but they are fragrances that work beautifully this time of year. All of these are very feminine. There would only probably be one here that I would say is actually unisex fragrance, but these lean very feminine and just absolutely stunning for this time of year. So if you don't know what the white floral family consists of, it consists of things like jasmine, tuberose, gardenia, lily, um, honeysuckle, orange blossom, neroli. Neroli and orange blossom actually come from the same flower, just two different parts of the same flower from what I understand. Um, there's lemon blossom. I don't know if I already said that. Then you have Datura, which is hardly ever mentioned, AKA moonflower. All some of my favorite white florals. So in this video, I'm actually going to insert a little section here, um, showing you guys some examples of some of these white florals that I actually have growing in my garden that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So you can fast forward through that part if you don't want to see. Okay, so these are August Beauty Gardenias. And these beauties, literally, they look like roses, but they smell like gardenias. And they smell so amazing, so thick and buttery and sweet. They almost smell edible, I'm telling you. It's just the most gorgeous smell. And right now, this bush is just doing some things for me. I come out here and talk to it every day. So these are lemon blossoms. This is a little lemon tree that actually died and decided to come back to life, thank goodness. But these also smell absolutely amazing. Now this is jasmine. And I actually have two different types of jasmine. I have this jasmine and, oh, I can't believe I can't think of the name of this jasmine. <laughs> and then I have some um, confederate or what's called star jasmine up on the top deck. But um, this is my favorite. I like this because these flowers, they typically bloom at night and then in the morning when you come out, sometimes the bush will be full of beautiful. Now this is star jasmine, confederate, whatever you want to call it. And the flowers are a lot smaller than the other bush, but they actually are in the shape of a star. And these blooms last a lot longer than the ones on the other tree. I actually just bought this vine and started it this year, but it's really starting to climb nicely. I'm trying to train it to climb all the way up this trellis. But when you come out here at night, oh, this thing just smells amazing. I'm going to be a bad girl and pluck a bloom off of here. See, it's like a little star. Oh, it smells like jasmine. So another white floral is Datura, AKA Moonflower. And this is my Moonflower vine, and it is actually getting ready to show out up here. I've actually had one bloom off of it. I'll try to um, find the picture and show it to you guys, but this is getting ready to 
explode. A wasp just landed on my phone. Wow. <laughs> this is getting ready to explode. Uh, let's jump right into some of some or to some really nice white floral fragrances that perform and work beautifully for this time of year. So the very first one <laughs> is one that um, this actually was on my most expensive regret list. And it still has a place there, just to be honest with you. And it is Amouage Honor Woman. Now, why was this on my most expensive regret list? Because as I explained in that video, this was just not what I was looking for in an Amouage fragrance. I'm always looking for the deep smoke, the oud, the immortelle, the uniqueness, the the beauty that Amouage has to offer. And in my opinion, I feel like this smells like it could easily be a YSL or a Lancome or something along those lines. However, aside from all that and the Amouage price, it is stunning. It is really a stunning fragrance. It's a very feminine fragrance, but in my opinion, this fragrance is all about the white florals um which i live my life for right so <laughs> the notes of this are coriander pepper rhubarb there's carnation jasmine tuberose lily of the valley a poponox there's some amber incense and leather um this fragrance starts out in my opinion slightly bitter and that's from the rhubarb note i'm quite sure but I just pick up on the the three sisters in this fragrance so easily, which is the Jasmine Tuberose Gardenia thing. Um, and I feel like it's absolutely stunning. There's a there's some greenness here. I don't pick up on a lot of incense in this fragrance, slightly in the base, but again, it's not that amouage incense. This is a fragrance that I feel like a woman could wear this anytime, any place the office, date night, home on quarantine. This is like one of those any occasion type fragrances. It smells very pretty, very feminine, very floral, but it's so perfect for this time of year. And honestly, I really, y'all know I'm not seasonal, but I didn't have a true appreciation for this until I actually wore it this time of year and it really performs beautifully. So Amouage, Honor Woman, got my three best friends in there, Jasmine, Tuberose, and Gardenia. Now I have two honorable mentions before I move along. And one of them, I talk about this all the time. This is Creed Iris Tuberose. So perfect for this time of year. Um, Really nice. This fragrance is all about the Tuberose. Slight little powdery thing in there from the iris but it's really all about the tuberose in this fragrance and i absolutely adore it the performance on this one is really not there um especially at the price point but it is an amazing fragrance and the second honorable mention that i have is from the house of parfums cortana and this is midnight datura which is aka moonflower and I had to put this on the list because this this is gorgeous. So I've talked about this in a few videos before, but because this houses Datura, I felt like it had to go on this list. Really nice fragrance. Okay, so moving right along with my list. All right, you guys, next, um, you know, I have recommended this fragrance to a few people and they actually purchased it and they love it as much as I love it. And when you speak of a white floral fragrance for this time of year, clean, green, crisp, fresh, amazing longevity, beast mode projection, we are talking about Comme des Garçons Parfums Parfums, and this is Clash Chlorophyll Gardenia. You know, right now, this is up there in my most complimented fragrance, like number two on the list. 
I have been wearing the you know what out of this lately and I cannot, I can't help it. This has green notes and gardenia and those are the only two things that are listed. But you know, whenever you see gardenia as a standalone note, you know that there's probably um, jasmine and tuberose as well because it typically it takes those two to actually recreate gardenia because gardenia does not undergo the steam extraction process because it's too delicate of a flower. So I, and I showed you a picture of a actual gardenia in the video earlier, but, um, I feel like I pick up on a slight earthiness here, which I'm feeling like is some tuberose, but this is, this is so stunning. This is summer everything this is this is amazing this fragrance sells for like sixty dollars it's worth every penny it is it's my thing right now um i was joking around about how people wouldn't be able to smell me because you know we're all wearing masks i'm like who's gonna smell all this good fragrance i got on and i said this before wearing this i have received so many compliments on this from people who were also wearing a mask. So if you want something that's going to break through mask, Clash Chlorophyll, <laughs> Comme des Garçons, Parfums, Parfums. Amazing, an amazing fragrance. I'm just, I'm so blown away by this fragrance. Um, It is absolutely stunning. All right, now the next one, this, this is another one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why I don't actually wear this much. I actually had like a bunch of samples of this. And then one day I ran into this in one of my local rack stores and I had to purchase it. And it's bond number nine's Madison Soiree. Why do I love this thing? This is honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, oak moss, and aldehydes. Um, I just, there is such a clean, like soapy thing going on here. That is so amazing to me, especially again for this time of year. But the white florals in this thing are really very prominent. Um, if you've ever smelled Bond Number no. Nines and you're like, I don't like them. They're just so, they're synthetic. There's something about them. This is the most unlike Bond Number no. Nine thing that I have ever smelled. But it it is absolutely stunning. I mean, soapy, clean, white floral beauty is what this is. So Bond Number no. Nine, Madison Soiree. Um, the longevity on my skin on this is pretty good. But again, when I apply it, it just, it starts out very sweet and soapy and bright all at the same time, if that makes any type of sense. So Madison Soiree, I have seen this multiple times in rack stores. So be on the lookout for this baby because I'm telling you, it is absolutely, it is amazing. It smells amazing on nice hot saturday afternoon you got your pretty sundress on with your big stupid hat and you going out and you want to smell like a girl that's that's what that is for in my opinion <laughs> but you wear it when you want to wear it now the next one on my list of course this had to go on my list and this is from the house of by killian excuse me um, and it is good girl gone bad. And I actually have the, um, I purchased the travel kit, which comes with three of the, um, automizers and the, the holder. And then later on down the line, I actually purchased the good girl gone bad body lotion, which I really adore. Um, I, I like Killian's lotions a lot, but I had to put this on the list. This is Jasmine Osmanthus rose tuberose narcissus amber and cedar and this is classified as a floral fruity fragrance it doesn't get any more feminine and girly and playful than good girl gone bad um even though i know some guys who really enjoy wearing good girl gone bad this is definitely the one that i was talking about what could be considered as unisex on this list um it starts off very fruity um the osmanthus which you guys know is actually the leaf of an apricot tree um very prominent very pronounced in this fragrance it dries down on my skin like slightly sweet and woody 
So, but I love this. This is very versatile. I actually wear this all year round. Um, this is one of those fragrances that, I mean, any occasion, all, any season, you know, when it's hot outside, when it's extremely cold outside, this just works for everything. So by Killian, Good Girl Gone Bad, got some of my favorites in there, the Jasmine, the Tuberose, so beautiful fragrance. All right, now the last one on my list is one that I've talked about quite a few times. And I have about four of these Bella flankers. And this is one of my favorites. And this is Oscar de la Renta. This is Bella Blanca. I have Rosa. I have I have a gold one. I have, I, I don't know. Um, I don't often reach for these. But when I do seek a nice feminine floral fragrance, Bella Blanca is always one that I tend to reach for. She's stunning in my opinion. Um, the notes of Bella are pear, there's green notes, lily of the valley, jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, there's some iris, iris, musk, <laughs> and sandalwood. But she is very, very nice. Her, I, I think her and her sister Rosa, um, Bella Rosa, are probably my two favorites from this but this is more fruity in my opinion than it is anything else but it is a very stunning fragrance very feminine just has a very nice cleanness about it um the longevity on this ain't half bad either and i i got this when it was on sale one time i paid like 29 dollars for it i think so i was really impressed at the longevity of this um Oh, amazing. Very sweet, but floral and very feminine at the same time. So Oscar de la Renta, Bella Blanca. So those are some of my favorite feminine white floral fragrances that I enjoy wearing this time of year. If you have a favorite feminine white floral, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching me today. Until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.